Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Amen. Light and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. Thanks be to God. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be sung by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, ruler of the universe. You led your people Israel by a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May his word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. For you are full of loving kindness for your whole creation. And we, your creatures, glorify you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. to you, come to me quickly, hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a watch before my mouth, O Lord, and guard the door of my lips. Let not my heart incline to any evil thing. Let me not be occupied in wickedness with evil doers nor eat of their choice foods. Let the righteous smite, smite me in friendly rebuke. Let not the oil of the unrighteous anoint my head, for my prayer is continually against their wicked deeds. Let their rulers be overthrown in stony places, that they may know my words are true. As when a plowman turns over the earth in furrows, let their bones be scattered at the mouth of the grave. But my eyes are turned to you, Lord God. In you I take refuge. Do not strip me of my life. Protect me from the snare which they have laid for me, and from the traps of the evil doers. Let the wicked fall into their own nets while I myself escape. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense. Hallelujah, happy are they who fear the Lord, and have great delight in his commandments. Their descendants will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches will be in their house, and their righteousness will last forever. Light shines in the darkness for the upright. The righteous are merciful and full of compassion. It is good for them to be generous in lending and to manage their affairs with justice, for they will never be shaken. The righteous will be kept in everlasting remembrance. They will not be afraid of any evil rumors. Their heart is right. They put their trust in the Lord. Their heart is established and will not shrink until they see their desires upon their enemies. They have given freely to the poor, and their righteousness stands fast forever. They will hold up their head with honor. 
The wicked will see it and be angry. They will gnash their teeth and pine away. The desires of the wicked will perish. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Give praise, you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Let the name of the Lord be blessed from this time forth forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its going down, let the name of the Lord be praised. The Lord is high above all nations, and his glory above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God, who sits enthroned on high, but stoops to behold the heavens and the earth? He takes up the weak out of the dust, and lifts up the poor from the ashes. He sets them with the princes, with the princes of his people. He makes the woman of a childless house to be a joyful mother of children. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. It is good to have riches in life, in this life. Nothing can make you richer than wisdom, who makes everything function. Is knowledge a useful thing to have? Nothing is better than wisdom, who has given shape to everything that exists. Do you love justice? All the virtues are the result of wisdom's work. Justice and courage, self-control and understanding. Life can offer us nothing more valuable than these. Do you want to have wide experience? Wisdom knows the lessons of history and can anticipate the future. She knows how to interpret what people say and how to solve problems. She knows the miracles that God will perform and how the movements of history will develop. So I decided to take wisdom home to live with me because I knew that she would give me good advice and encourage me in times of trouble and grief. I thought to myself, because of her, I will be honored whenever people come together. The old men will respect me, even though I am young. They will find that my opinions show deep insight, and those in power will admire me. When I am silent, they will wait for me to speak, and when I speak, they will pay attention. Even when I speak at length, they will listen with concentration. Because of wisdom, I will gain immortality. I will live forever in the memory of those who come after me. I will hold power over nations and peoples. Dreaded tyrants will be seized with fear at the mention of my name. I will be famous as a good king and as a brave soldier. When I come home to wisdom, I will find contentment because there is no conflict or pain in living with her, only happiness and joy. And so I thought it over. To be wedded to wisdom is to live forever. To love her is to be perfectly happy. To do her work is to be rich beyond measure. To share her company is to have sound judgment. To converse with her is to be honored. Then I was determined to take wisdom as my bride. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the book of Revelation. To the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, 
This is the message from the one who is holy and true. He has the key that belongs to Dave, that belonged to David, and when he opens the door, no one can close it, and when he closes it, no one can open it. I know what you do. I know that you have a, that you have a little power. You have followed my teaching and have been faithful to me. I have opened a door in front of you, which no one can close. Listen, as for that group that belongs to Satan, those liars who claim that they are Jews but are not, I will make them come and bow down at your feet. They will all know that I love you. Because you have kept my command to endure, I will also keep you safe from the time of trouble which is coming upon the world to test all the people on earth. I am coming soon. Keep safe what you have, so that no one will rob you of your victory prize. I will make him who is victorious a pillar in the temple of my God, and he will never leave it. I will write on him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, which will come down out of heaven from my God. I will also write on him my new name. If you have ears, then listen to what the Spirit says to the churches. To the angel of the church in Lydosia write, This is the message from the Amen, the faithful and true witness, who is the origin of all that God has created. I know what you have done. I know that you are neither cold nor hot. How I wish that you were either one or the other. But because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I am going to spit you out of my mouth. You say, I am rich and well off. I have all I need. But you do not know how miserable and pitiful you are. You are poor, naked, and blind. I advise you then to buy gold from me, pure gold, in order to be rich. Buy also white clothing to dress yourself and cover up your shameful nakedness. Buy also some ointment to put on your eyes, so that you may see. I rebuke and punish all whom I love. Be in earnest then, and turn from your sins. Listen, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into his house and eat with him, and he will eat with me. To those who win the victory, I will give the right to sit beside me on my throne. Just as I have been victorious and now sit by my Father on his throne. If you have ears, then listen to what the Spirit says to the churches. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As shadows lengthen into night, Maker of all, we pray to you. Show to us still your tender care, And guard us with your princely power. Far from us drive all evil dreams And wicked thoughts that prowl at night. Tread underfoot our evil foes, And keep our bodies free from stain. Almighty Father, grant our prayer through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who with the holy paraclete now reigns with you in endless light. Amen. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour, for he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. 
For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He has showed strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath helped in his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. O God the Father, Creator of heaven and earth, have mercy upon us. O God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy upon us. O God, the Holy Ghost, Sanctifier of the Faithful, have mercy upon us. O Holy, Blessed, and Glorious Trinity, three persons and one God, have mercy upon us. Remember not, Lord, our offenses, nor the offenses of our forefathers. Spare us, good Lord. Spare thy people, whom thou hast redeemed with thy most precious blood. Spare us, good Lord. From all evil and mischief, from sin, from the crafts and assaults of the devil, from thy wrath and from everlasting condemnation, good Lord, deliver us. From all blindness of heart, from pride, vainglory, and hypocrisy, from envy, hatred, and malice, and all uncharitableness, good Lord, deliver us. From all uncleanness in thought, word, and deed, and from all the deceits of the world, the flesh, and the devil, good Lord, deliver us. From lightning and tempest, from earthquake, fire, and flood, from plague, pestilence, and famine, from battle and murder, and from sudden death, good Lord, deliver us. From all sedition, conspiracy, and rebellion, from all false doctrine, heresy, and schism, from hardness of heart, and contempt of thy word and commandment, good Lord, deliver us. By the mystery of thy holy incarnation, by thy holy nativity, by thy baptism, fasting, and temptation, good Lord, deliver us. By thine agony and bloody sweat, by thy cross and passion, by thy precious death and burial, good Lord, deliver us. By thy glorious resurrection and ascension, by thy sending of the Holy Spirit, by thy heavenly intercession, and by thy coming again in glory, good Lord, deliver us. In all times of tribulation, in all times of prosperity, in the hour of death, and in the day of judgment, good Lord, deliver us. We sinners do beseech thee to hear us, O Lord God, and that it may please thee to rule and govern thy holy church universal in the right way, we beseech thee, good Lord, to keep and strengthen in the true worshipping of thee, in holiness of life, and in devotion to his people, thy servant Charles, our most gracious king and governor, we beseech thee, good Lord, to be his defender and keeper, giving him the victory over all his enemies, we beseech thee, good Lord, to give to all bishops, priests, and deacons true knowledge and understanding of thy word, and that both by their preaching and living they may set it forth and show it accordingly, we beseech thee, good Lord. To send forth laborers into thy harvest, to prosper their work by thy Holy Spirit, to make thy saving health known unto all nations, and to hasten thy kingdom, we beseech thee, good Lord. To bless the people of our country and the commonwealth, and to undo those set in authority with grace, wisdom, and understanding, we beseech thee, good Lord. To bless and guide the judges and magistrates, giving them grace to execute justice and to maintain truth, we beseech thee, good Lord. To bless and keep the king's forces by sea and land and air, and to shield them in all dangers and adversities, we beseech thee, good Lord. To give to all nations unity, peace, and concord, 
that they may serve thee without fear, we beseech thee, good Lord. To bless and protect all who serve mankind by their labor and learning, we beseech thee, good Lord. To preserve all that travel, all women laboring of child, all sick persons and young children, and to show thy pity upon all prisoners and captives, we beseech thee, good Lord. To defend and provide for all widows and orphans, and all who are desolate and oppressed, we beseech thee, good Lord. To bless and keep all thy people, we beseech thee, good Lord. To give to all thy people increase of grace, to hear meekly thy word, and to receive it with pure affection, and to bring forth the fruit of the Spirit, we beseech thee, good Lord. To bring into the way of truth all who have erred and are deceived, we beseech thee, good Lord. To strengthen such as do stand, to encourage the faint-hearted, to raise up those who fall, and finally to beat down Satan under our feet, we beseech thee, good Lord. To succor, help, and comfort all that are in danger, necessity, and tribulation, we beseech thee, good Lord. To have mercy upon all, we beseech thee, good Lord. To give and preserve to our use the kindly fruits of the earth, so that in due time we may enjoy them, we beseech thee, good Lord. To forgive our enemies, persecutors, and slanderers, and to turn their hearts, we beseech thee, good Lord. To give us true repentance, to forgive us all our sins, negligences, and ignorances, and to endue us with the grace of thy Holy Spirit, to amend our lives according to thy holy word, we beseech thee, good Lord. Son of God, we beseech thee to hear us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sin of the world, grant us thy peace. O Christ, hear us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Be mindful, O Lord, of thy people bowed before thee, and of those who are absent through age, sickness, or infirmity. Care for the infants, guide the young, especially Chandra and Schuyler. Support the aged, especially Lester, Viola, Vivian, Jerry, Pearl, Barb. Encourage the faint-hearted, collect the scattered, and bring the wandering to thy fold, especially myself. Travel with the voyagers, defend the widows, shield the orphans, deliver the captives, heal the sick, especially Emily, Patricia, Rachel, Iris, Jim, Rael, Viola, Red, Cindy, Chandra, Teresa, Donna, Kevin, Jennifer. Succor all who are in tribulation, necessity, or distress. Remember for good all those that love us and those that hate us, especially religious extremists and those that have desired us unworthy as we are to pray for them. And those whom we have forgotten, do thou, O Lord, remember, for thou art the helper of the helpless, the saviour of the lost, the refuge of the wanderer, the healer of the sick. Thou who knowest each one's need, and hast heard their prayer, grant unto each according to thy merciful loving kindness and thy eternal love, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. In Jesus' name, amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen.